and salt will enter the waters, and there will be no water that is not salty. Salty lands will bear no fruit, and if they do, it will be very bitter fruit. Therefore, survivors of the fools rejecting God's message of love, of his kingdom age's love for all people, shall sadly come to see fertile lands turned into salty swamps, and all other lands will be dried up by the growing heat. Mankind will find himself in the salty rain and wandering on the salty ground between drought and flood. The barns will be full, uh, he said, and streams of cool water will flow, and the trees will bear fruit. But whosoever eats this grain and whosoever eats or drinks of that water uh, will die, and whoever eats of that fruit will die. Only the fruits harvested by the previous generation uh, before the bombs will not contain death. In the lands where the olives used to grow, uh, there will only be snow, and I think that's uh, Israel. For everything will mix at this time. The second coming of Christ is not what you people think it is, people. Mountains will be where there were seas once were, and seas will be where there once were mountains. So, in summing it up, and what a message, uh, in summing it up, Rasputin said terrible cataclysms will definitely happen in Russia, bringing forth terrible days of trouble. Therefore, he emphasized that a certain czar guardian angel would come forth to try preventing all of the death born of um, unloving foolishness as he urged his fellow Russians to hug tightly the Lord's Elijah message uh, by saying that Elijah's spirit shall return unto them. Uh, so the time of when water and fire won't have to come so that God would send this end time messenger uh, so that everything can change for love's sake who is God. Then, if people will hear Hope's very best news, life, even in Siberia, will bloom with many brand new colors, and the palaces in St. Petersburg will bloom with lemon trees. Then Gregory added that prayers of that kingly messenger named Shiloh will be carried away by the wind, and with the wind God will return his mercy unto all people needing mercy by returning his terrifying anger exactly as he promised in Jeremiah 30, 24. And at the same time, uh, that same wind will bring yet another king of love's uh, greatest glory, Emmanuel, who, will s s who shall have much greater power than any former sovereigns ever had, said Grigory Rasputin to the Russian people. Don't go there believed the man. He was right. He, he said there will be three world wars. We are at the crux of the crucible of the last. Do you want to die? Do you? Do you want to make the devil's day even though he's been removed like a fucker he always was? I don't know, do you?